is May and uh, Casper and I are traveling around once again showing <laughs> the next versions of the Scientology buildings and Los Angeles as it is. We're going down Highland. We just went by the Hollywood Bowl. We should have taken a picture of it, but we didn't. Anyway, we're coming into, La into Highland and we'll show you the Kodak Center. We're going to come. Oh wait, we're not going to because we're going to go right here. We're going to go Franklin. up to the old Celebrity Center. It was the second Celebrity Center. Remember in the old buildings, the first one I showed you, the 19, 1970s. Yeah, go right here. Now right up here, let's see if I can catch it. Oh, I don't think I can. Okay, well anyway, there's the Kodak Center down there. There it is. Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. That's the Kodak Center down there in Hollywood. Hollywood. But now we're going to go over to La Brea, which was the second Celebrity Center. It was um, the move from 8th Street, which was the super dumpy area, to uh, La Brea, which was is now very funny. It's actually a gymnasium, but at the time it was Celebrity Center. And a lot of people that came into Scientology that are still in it started at this Celebrity Center. I mean, tons of people. Travolta was there. Tom Cruise, I think, came in at that one. It, it, a lot of the artists, it, a lot of people that... Um, that are still in. This was the celebrity center that they came into. Now we're coming, we're going by, you know, just different things. Now at La Brea, you're going to go left. This is La Brea. Okay, so we're coming up to La Brea. And you're going to go left. So get the next lane. No, this lane okay, goes this left lane too. goes left. All right. Cool. All right. And this is right one street above, or one street above Hollywood Boulevard, just so you know. This up this way is the Hollywood Hills. And this looks like kind of a crummy area. <laughs> Not bad, it's kind of pretty, but you have to they did bring right, it. Like, right on this corner is this apartment building, which literally a couple months ago I don't think was there, right? Yeah, I don't know. Man. I know, and it's like then you go like what used to be there? It's really weird and it's hard to remember what was on this corner, but it wasn't this apartment building that's now there. So things pop up like that. Here comes a really cool guy. There you go. That's a job. Store closing. <laughs> Store closing. Ugh. So now we're going down La Brea. This is where Yvonne Jentz was. This is when Quentin Hubbard died. He died while we were in this. That building is it. Wow, they're changing it. Wow, it used to be a gymnasium. Hmm. This this big building that's now being renovated. Wow. Wow, they that's changed it into a con. Oh, no, wait. No, it's the next one. Sorry. I thought that was it. Wow, that's big, though. That used oh, to be. Here we, go. here we are on the right. It's on the right, right there. I know. We get a wider shot. Okay. Further away. There you go. Here you go. That was Celebrity Center, and it used to be filled with people. Gold Gym. Yeah, now it's Gold's Gym. But that there's the entrance. There you go, guys. This used to be the old Celebrity Center. And it was filled with people. And the, the Quality Inn, there's the old QI that people used to stay at. On this corner used to be a restaurant that everybody would hang at. It's now a Burger King. <laughs> hmm. oh. I don't know. But, anyway, it does that, look like a restaurant though, huh? Yeah, I mean, it kind of does. And it was an old restaurant. It was a really cool, I mean it wasn't cool. Oh, but, oh you know, no, this it's is... Like a lot of people okay. met there and talked there and stuff like that. And then you can see we're right off Sunset Boulevard. So that's right, Sunset, where did Hollywood Boulevard go? That's behind it, or it was above, it was on... How weird, because I thought... It was, it was, we just blew right by, we went through I the guess we did, oh that's right, we went through the intersection of Hollywood. Do you want to be on Hollywood? Or? No, 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 now we're okay. Now we're going to turn it off because we're going to okay. head, now we're on Hollywood, we're now we're on Sunset Boulevard, not near the snazzy Sunset Boulevard because it's back behind us the other way. But we're heading more into kind of Scientology land. <laughs> of uh, of for Scientologists, you know, yeah, all the buildings. Ah, look all at this new shoe place. Shoes. This is this is new. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot of new things that have happened in in this area. Ooh. Oh, that's right. All the Scientology buildings are up on on Hollywood, but CCHR is up on Sunset. So literally, this is Highland, and right up to the left, one block is Hollywood Boulevard and that's where you see the big tall sign and onto the HGB and then way down to Vermont is the complex. Here's Hollywood High. Where's that sign? That's good. That's kind of famous. That's the uh, Hollywood High which is where a lot of famous, famous CHR which is Citizens Commission on Human Rights which is Scientology. Oh yeah, there it is. 
the industry of debt. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Here we go. The Citizens Commission on Human Rights. Yeah, we got to get a little bit more there. Why don't you go around the block? Okay. So now we're coming up to the Citizens Commission on Human Rights. Which it isn't on human rights at all. It basically has nothing to do with human rights. It has to do with trying to stop psychiatry. And if Scientologists knew why Harvard was so against psychiatry, which was basically in the 50s and the 60s, psychiatrists were considered the only real um, people that could say whether someone something you know for the for the mind was correct or not. So they were the only ones who cert were certified to say Harvard was full of shit. So he started his campaign against psychiatry. And now these Scientologists, I mean, I agree with them against people being on tons of psych drugs, not a good thing. But I also know people that, I mean, I've heard talk shows where it saved people's lives and things like that. And I know kids that have killed themselves who were Scientologists who maybe if they were on the right medicine would be alive today. So, you know, it's one of those things where <clears throat> this is seriously dramatic. I've been through this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been through CCHR with my friend, and uh, it's gross. It really is. It's disgusting. And it, it's so manipulative in a negative way. It's. It, I wanted to throw up when I came out of there. I really did. It was horrible. So, you know, you can make anything horrible, and this is one of their examples of it. Here you go. The dog's there you go. That's my feeling as far as CCHR too. Thank you. What a clap. He's <laughs> <laughs> right on cue. Wait, where is he? Wait, where is he? Oh, he's right I here. I lost him. Oh. oh, is he still doing it? Where no, no, he's I done. Lost he's done. Him. He's done? I think no, so. No, he isn't. Stay here. Wait, wait, wait. No, I, I don't have my camera. Yeah, play this. My, it was all blurry. I couldn't get it. Okay. Oh, I can still record. <laughs> Well, anyway, he did the, their, their parking lot. I come there all the time. That's where Scientology gets there. You know, Magoo is just roving around, you know, Hollywood, which isn't true. I'm actually going to the Egyptian Theater, which if you live here in L.A., I highly... One block up on Hollywood Boulevard. And again, we've already gone by this once before. It's the HGB, which stands for the Hollywood Guarantee Building, which Scientology bought, renovating everything with their plan to be the masters of Hollywood. They've failed at utterly, and uh, all they've done, per their own actions, is create more enemies, which I told them when they were in, and I still tell them that. And they're still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of amazing, really. But here, do you see the sign? Yeah, here's the big, that big brown building there is the, that I'm zooming in on, that's their HGB, which is where all the executives run Scientology from. See the big sign up there? That that sign up there says the Church of Scientology. You can't quite see it from the sign, but that's what it says. The Church of Scientology. And there they are with their all their windows closed so nobody can see in what they're doing. Top secret. LRH Life exhibition, which nobody's ever in. Ooh, here's the food court. This is really funny because my friend always wears his Scientology Kills t-shirt on Sunday, which this is their food court right across the street from the HGB they have on Sundays. That's a great place for Anonymous to pick it, by the way. Here you go. So here's the LRH Life Exhibition. HGB's right next to it. Here's a Scientologist right here. Here she is on camera. Hmm. Yeah, looks like they're doing something. They're always locked in here. Here's, ooh, Z4. Here's somebody. Who is this? Hmm, let's see who this is. Well, keep the cameras rolling. What do you know? Uh-oh, they're pissed. They're going to drive off. <laughs> oh, who was that? I don't know, but he didn't want to be on camera. You should have stayed. <laughs> he, he didn't like that at all. Ah. Well, anyway, people are waking up besides that kind of Z4. And, uh... <laughs> There you go. So now we're going to head on over to Celebrity Center, which is just literally a few things There's around no the corner. There. Huh? There's no parking. Yeah. Oh, I guess we'll get the Hollywood sign some other time. I, I yeah. watched a Scientology YouTube video, yeah. and they're like, oh, I'm a Scientologist. If you have a question, just ask me. Right. Right? And then you really meet Scientologists, and they're ducking, <laughs> and they're running, you know, and they're covering their face, and they're, they're putting up curtains, and it's 
like I just want to ask questions about Scientology. Get, you know, like what what is with the disconnection policy? What's with you know, uh, you know, what, why do you guys open the mail of, of the Sea Org? You know, why why do you do those things? You know, they're not going to answer that. But those are, see, those are really good questions. But they don't want to get into those because the truth is those are very abusive policies and really nasty things happen with it. And the only thing they can say is you're taking it out of context, right? Right. But you're not taking it out of context. You're asking them, hey, if a family's broken up, how do you justify that? And their thing is like, I don't want to talk to you. But we'll talk to anybody about how great Scientology is. Right. That's basically it. As long as they're pitching it, they're, they're willing to talk to anybody. But if you really have questions, they're gone. Just like that guy in the Z4. You know, this started our conversation because he was saying, you know, why does that guy hide? You know, because he really was ticked off that I even turned on the camera. Because on their video, they're like, well, we'll talk to him. <laughs> and they don't. It is weird. Well, we're coming up. This is the HGB. We're going to take a picture of the Hollywood sign. So that's why we're coming this way back this way. The HEB is straight ahead. It's that big brown building on the right. I mean on the left, on the corner. <laughs> really sweet. As we come walking up. It probably won't be here for long. But this guy's like right down the street from them. You know, their way to happiness program where they help everyone. Well, what about this guy? Now the truth is, they consider him a down staff. So, He's, as they told me, when I asked them, what about people like this? What are we going to do to help them? You know what the executive said? We'll get them next lifetime, Tori. We don't have time for them right now. Oh my God, and it's a lady. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. I'm going to ask them. Hey, Scientology, what about this lady? I thought you helped people. What happened there? What happened to the way to happiness? And helping people. Here she is, like, right down from you. And, uh, there she is. And what is the Sea Org doing to help that lady? Nothing. What did the executive say when I asked him, what are you going to do? We'll get him next lifetime. What do you think about that? Come on. We'll get him next lifetime. Call Osa. There you go. Let me get that one on some. Here you go. Call Osa. Tell him Tori said hi. Tell him to come down. Tell Gavino to come down. Yeah, push him in. That's right. Push him in. Don't come out here. The SPs are here. God forbid. You guys don't seem very able. That doesn't show. It's a simple question. You got the way to happiness. It's supposed to help everybody. But, uh,. It doesn't look like it's helping this lady right here that's just a very little bit from your door. And you know what, quite frankly, I couldn't say this when I was in, but I'm, I think I'm just going to stay here until you come out and do something. Because it really, I am going to put this on the internet, that you're not doing anything to help people. All you're doing is helping people that have money as long as they give you money. But if she doesn't give you money, just like this lady, you're not going to do anything for her. To see our, like a veteran would go to these, like you know, know what the, you know, like this is what they defended their country for. Like, you know, this is, they're going to the guys of freedom of religion. Right. Do, you know, they're conning people out of money. Right. They're abusing young people. Right. You know, uh, you know, veteran people pissed off. You know? Yeah. So like, do a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They didn't go to work for that. And what does Scientology say? We'll get. Just so we have the L. Ron Hubbard Life Exhibition. Let's come around the corner and see how many millions of people are coming to the L. Ron Hubbard Life Exhibition. Well, here's a guy trying to rope people in. And what do you know? The security is here. You all can laugh at all. How are you doing? Sunday night. Are you here? Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Why don't you come out and say hi? I saw you. I drove by. You were out. I guess he had you on watch. Good. You didn't come out the whole time. Look, I'm kind of message. Can you? You got a there they go, they're all running inside. Quick, hurry up! The SPs are here. Uh oh, I guess his days of recruiting are over. There they go. Is that right? We told you. Yeah. What about this lady down the street?
street that's like homeless, what are you guys going to do to help her as far as the way to happiness? That's a question. You're a Scientologist. You, I used to be a Scientologist until I realized you guys don't care. They okay, don't. How, how you can help? Pardon me? How you can help this lady? Don't I'm waste, asking don't you. Waste you got a whole organization don't, don't that waste, sells the way to happiness. Don't waste time. Go and help homeless people. I don't have an organization with people. Go, you do. You've got millions of dollars. People. You, and I don't promote that I help everybody. You Look. do. You say that I'm exposing you, you guys for what you really don't do, which is you don't help people. If I had the money, I would. Now she's getting up. Sell your camera and help the homeless. Yeah, exactly. Well, maybe they will. Maybe you guys will do something if you if people see enough that you don't really do anything for Way to Happiness. I used to pass out Way to Happiness, and you know what? The only thing that happened with Way to Happiness, I'd come back and the executives would say this. Did you get any press? That's all they cared about. They didn't care if the people were okay. That's not part of the battle plan. The battle plan is money, man. That's it. Money and calm lines. That's it. And once you realize that, I don't think you're bad. I just think you're misinformed. I do. And you can make snide faces at me, but you know what? Why did everybody have to run inside and hide? If you're honest and true, why does people have to hide? Why do you have to not is me? You can't even talk to me. And you're supposed to be a communication release. But yeah, all you can I want to communicate with whom I communicate. I don't want to communicate to you. That's it. Right, because it's your choice, it's right? Not. It's my choice. I don't want to uh -huh. communicate to you. Sure. Can you bother me? Like, At least when I was in, I would talk to people. Face the camera in my face. I don't like this. All right, I'll turn it away. Turn it away. Okay, okay so it's away. But can Good. you talk to me? I don't want to. I don't care. You don't want to. You don't choose to. I don't and probably want to. anybody else, even if you love them, if they're declared I suppressive don't want to overnight, to. you don't want to talk to them. What about? What do you want to talk about? I want to ask you why are you here when they're doing stuff like that? What do you believe is really helping people that are? Okay, look. You now that we have a books, you can found all answers inside the books. I've read the books, man. I'm OT seven. I was on seven for thir for seven years. And I wrote to Miss Scavage saying it doesn't work. I know you're not OT7 because none of the the staff get up to clear. If they Look, do, that's the highest they get. It's your choice. You doing what you doing. I'm security guard. I make sure that crazy people not bother the staff. Okay, you know? yeah. But you're a young guy. You know, you have a whole life you could live. And I understand it. You think these guys, you think you're doing something good. I did too, but I stayed for 30 years. All I'm saying is at least go learn both sides. You don't have to believe me, but go look on the net, go learn both sides. Learn from Sea Org guys that did the same thing you're doing and are out. At least learn both sides, okay? Don't just w Adios. flip me off. If, you know, good really night. go look. Have a good day. You have a good have day, a good too. Day to I like your accent, too. And I love the way this whole street just got empty because <laughs> two of us are here. <laughs> we're going to cross the street eventually. Oh, okay, let's do that. I do, I do take it as a compliment. What did he just say? He said my shirt looks ridiculous. That's good. And yours looks better? <laughs> At least it doesn't have flowers on it. <laughs> yeah, God forbid in the summertime you'd have flowers on your shirt. You gotta wear the sea organ. They are making fun, putting people down. Well anyways, one day I went up to Gary's. He's got a microphone. See, look at the microphone. Ooh, he's really big time. Really set up. He's kind of nervous to me. Smoking. Why are you smoking? Because Hubbard did? That's one of the problems of all the staff. They get suckered into smoking. Hubbard died, you know, and he, he was smoking. Look at him yawning. Here we go. Boredom, one point above, one one. That's it, yeah. You know, she You're really drilled said. on that. But you know what? I'm a, I'm a trend. What am I? I'm an idiot? Yeah. Say it in the camera. Let's hear it. Idiot.
Thank you. Was very that good? Much. Was that good? Did you like that? Oh, I'm sorry. Come I'm on, so man. sorry. You got. You can say it better than that. I like that yawning. He's thing, in. Though. He's I in like that. options. This shirt's ridiculous, and you're an idiot. Yeah, so there like, you go. Really, That's he's gonna well, always the other attack, way around? never well, defend. Right, always attack. He's got that one down. That's good. Have Cavino come down here. I'd love to talk to him. Is he still working here? Is he on the RPF also? Or you have to Is yawn Camino about that? You look kind of nervous, man. I'm sure you'd love to talk to him. I'm sure yeah. you'd love to talk to lots of people. Bring, bring uh, him on down. They probably don't want to talk to you, though. Yeah, they probably don't, because they committed enough fucking overts on me, they don't want to talk uh, to me Oh, yeah, anymore. that's what it is, uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> they did. <laughs> I could do that, too. Look at this. Hey, is Gigi Scudelari here young. today? I like to talk to him. Why he had to assault me. He never wants to talk. He never wants to talk. There's the fill that's in. I, I this is the HGV fill. Scientology used to be super clean. This is the fill that, you know, they don't clean it anymore. See, look at here. Look at this stuff, it's just trashy. It's amazing. What happened to Scientology? You used to be clean. You guys used to really take pride in your mess. But now you're too busy hiding the trick. Now I'm going to turn on my camera because it's like so typical of Scientology. Well, just remember that you signed a contract with Sierra. They don't sign a contract with you. You know what I mean? It's just your liability. And the people you. I think they're just like moved off post. A lot of them are gone. Like you haven't had contact with them. So a lot of your friends are online. They Hubbard had the beginning of the bridge, Dianetics, right? Which worked. They had some great wins. I tried to get Gold to interview my mother-in-law when I was on OT7. I said, look, this lady is the best PR you could ever get. She's like a senior. She has fantastic wins from Dianetics. Do you think they'd interview her? No. I hear the guy. You can tell him, shut up. I have, I'm not done He's with my story. He's talking to somebody else. Okay, good. But you know why they wouldn't interview her? Because she was in a wheelchair. And that would prove that Dianetics didn't really work. Even though it's like, who cares? You know what I mean? And it was, su to me, it was such a wake, that was the beginning of me waking up. You won't interview her when she knew Hubbard, when you didn't know Hubbard. Most of these people in this building never knew him, but that woman knew him. That woman went to every Congress. You know what I mean? She had all these awards from Scientology, but they wouldn't interview her if she was in a wheelchair. And you know what? There's something pathetic about that. There really is. And it was like, where is this at? You know, what are these people doing? And I want you to ask yourself that. When you watch them do stuff, you think, you know what the tech is. I'm not against some of it. Yeah. But I'm against some of it that's bullshit. And it's like some of it's right, some of it's bullshit. And the stuff that you can apply, you know you can apply it. And the other stuff is full of shit. And when you see people do stuff where you go, that's not ARC. That's not part of the tech I believe in. Do you see what I mean? Sure. Then at that point... Well, Lord Shiva says it himself. He says, that kept what's me good in. for you is what's Right, true. exactly. That kept me in forever. That line, it kept me in for 30 years because what's true for you is true for you. So people would talk to me just like I'm talking to you and I'd, it'd just be like the plexiglass. It'd bounce off. I'd, think, I'd say, I don't care. I don't care if he was a liar. I don't care if he was this. I don't care. I'm happy. Scientology is good for me. I'm good, right? But then as I got to, you were not at the hop, upper levels. I was working under DM with Gavino, okay, which is a whole secret project you don't know about. But once I realized they were working on the internet to stop free speech, I said to Gavino and my auditor, Bill Yachty, I didn't get into Scientology to stop free speech. I didn't. And you know what they did? They fucking turned on me. Like, really turned on me. And I went, that's it. I finally, after two hours of OT7s and 8s yelling at me, I ran out of the building. It took me another six months to totally wake up, but you know what? That night I left. I went, that's fucking it. You're my auditor. You promised me that I would be okay, and here you are fucking me, right? And he tried to handle it then, but it's too late. You know, there's a point where it's just like, no, man, it's too late. I, you, I hit the wall. Like in the Truman Show, that ship hits the wall, it's it. If you're at the wall and you're near so keep looking because you might as well find out before you're like me where it's 30 years i don't know how many years you've been in but it's probably too long and when you finally wake up you go Shit! <laughs> unless you're totally vgis i mean like totally really winning and i mean you i don't even know you but i'm just saying you know and only you know how much your heart is winning or not 
not the bullshit Scientology, I'm yeah, winning. But you, in your heart, are going, I love this. I'm so happy doing it. And I'm so proud of everyone around me that shuts everybody in because one SP is out there. Are you really proud of that? Are you really proud of these guys that just constantly have to put Drew down? Oh, look at that stupid shirt you have on. Come on, that's not you. I know it. I don't even know you. And I know in your heart that isn't what you would say to that guy. Even if you were, even if you thought in your head, that's a stupid shirt. Your mom didn't raise you to say, walk up to somebody and say, what a stupid shirt. You know what I mean? She wouldn't. And she wouldn't teach you to yawn because I walk up, which is supposedly one, one, boredom's one half step above it. So I want you to start connecting to you, your heart, and then you decide what you want to do, okay? Okay. All right, and look at both sides. I'll look at these. Five. There you go. I hope he does. I really hope it, I hope he does. I really hope he does look at both sides. There's the guard. Here he is. The question is, do you really have to film people? I mean, huh? Do you really have to film people? They actually don't like it. I'm not. You know, I'm I don't know. Like, a, like I'm you're, filming. You're, you're, your titles are. Remember, you guys need to come out with the cameras. And stuff. You film us all the time. You well, it, the day you take me. With, it no, 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 with, no, it didn't. Yeah. You took, you put me on Religious Freedom Watch with filled with lies. And the day they start stopping their abuses is the day we'll stop filming people. But they film us all the time. Uh, they had a hundred cameras in a four block area in Clearwater, Florida. I spent nine days with the top attorneys in Scientology and I won. But you know what? That's pathetic. When a little 21-year-old kid got up and the judge said, how many cameras did you have on these 15 people? And he said, and we've had four or five cameras in a four-block area. He said, over 100, Your Honor. Even the judge nearly fainted. It was like 100 cameras? 100 cameras? You know, you're a religion, supposedly. You know, you look like a mafia. And that was part of my waking up, was like, is this a religion? Or a mafia. Yeah. And that talk to Gavino. He man, I signed a thing saying I would never tell an auditor, an ethics officer, David Miscavige, RTC, anybody what we were working on. So you don't know what we were working on, but I do. And it was enough when they turned on me and I saw what they were doing on the internet, I went, ah. I didn't get into Scientology to stop free speech. And you are supporting the abuses they're doing. You can laugh that you're not, but you are. You're right here, right now. And until you change, you're supporting their abuses, and they're serious. You talk to 10 moms who lost their kids, and I promise you, you wouldn't be smiling like that with that little smirk, you wouldn't. They're fierce, and they're pissed off because they can't talk to their kids. Maybe your mom can't talk to you. Can your mom talk to you? Are you in touch Absolutely. with your mom? Huh? Absolutely. Good. Well, you make sure every one of these other morons in here are, because a bunch of them aren't. And they won't let them come down to talk to them either. They've been here. Anyway, let's go take the picture. We came here to take the picture of the Hollywood sign. Sign. He said that we could see it. Here's the HGB. And he said we could see the Hollywood sign from right, we're right across the street. Now let me see if I can, he's gonna, Drew's gonna help with it. Oh man, this is so cool. Beachwood Canyon? Yes. That's better? Okay. Really, it's actually, that's only a minute, but we'll do two. There we go, here right. comes some. Happy campers. Hello. Ooh, here they come. Here's all the people that were stopping. They didn't want to let them go. They thought we left. Ha ha. Oh, wait, let me go get them all on camera. They go, you might be seeing your kids here. This is the entire HGB coming across, zooming across because they thought we left. Here they are. Where's my friend Andy Nub? There we go. Let them out. Where's the, where's the door? There's the door. They let them out. They had them all hiding in there, thinking that we would leave. Now they let them all out. Wow, get them. Get them. Are you taking them? Yeah. Is it recording? Yes. Oh my god, this is like the whole, wow, they're letting everybody out now. Oh, they were all locked inside because we were out there. Oh my god. Hey guys, if you're free, why did you all have to stay locked in there until you thought we left? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you 
so cute. We're at the HGV in Hollywood. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Hollywood, here it is. There's the Hollywood sign. And there's the HGV. Very nice. And there's Steve walking up the fence. There you go, locking it up. Locking there you go, him in. slam that gate. That was pretty wild. Did you get it all? Yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was really great. Should we wait here a minute more and see if more come? Because he's opening the door again. People, Hipsters. there they are. Hipsters. They're off to Hollywood. There they are with the boards. All right, so we're going down Franklin Avenue from the HGB. We'll show you how close Celebrity Center is. Just kind of like right around the corner, literally. Now remember, we went to the old Celebrity Center, which was on La Brea, and this is on Franklin, down a you know about a mile. What did you say, a mile or two? Yeah, that's all. Yeah, it's not too far. So we're coming up to it. Here's Gower, which people from the old days will remember. That's near where CC is, and then Beachwood. Something was on Beachwood. I can't remember. Oh, the Hollywood signs on Beachwood. Oh yeah, the Hollywood. We got that already. Well, that's what they said. I, I don't know if they're Scientology. Oh, the Hollywood sign. Holly oh, yeah. Beach yeah, that's yeah, a better that's right. view. All right, now here, see, we're just a few blocks down, and here's Celebrity Center. We're coming right up to it. The next turn, oh, where mean? that truck's coming out, that's that's Celebrity Center. Oh, we're going to the so See, go. here we are. Now, let's see. There's their new... I got married right here when this used to be the Manor Hotel. Wait, hang on. Let me get... Okay, Scientology Celebrity Center. There you go. And that green thing in the back they built, but this was the original castle. <laughs> the trees. <laughs> I know they built a million trees around this, so you can't really see much. But here's here's ooh, the castle. I know day. it's really ooh, busy. They must be having something going yeah, on. Look here. at that guy. Look at the ooh. security guard. Whoa, the security guard's like serious. He's, he's got it? his arms crossed. All I can see is your window. Can you take that and just take oh. a picture? Look at this security guard here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, see if we can get that. But that this Looking was originally right the Manor Hotel, and then CC bought it. I mean, CC bought it, but it was the Manor Hotel. Oh, we lived get on there. the get on the get on the walkie-talkie. Walkie -talkie. There you go. And the Guardian's office was on the fifth floor here. Shoot up to the fifth floor. That's where the Guardian's office used to be, right here. <laughs> Okay, wait, we got... And I live on the fifth two, floor. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and it's right, on this right. end of it. Yeah. And I used to live. That's where the Guardian's office was. Only it wasn't as snazzy as this because it was the manor. But it was still pretty. And um, it was a hotel originally. We all lived here. And then they CC came and now it's a, an org. It's Celebrity Center. And this is where all the opinion leaders or 